Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching Zelda 2 Redux. We're back at Naburu, we're about to go to the 5th Palace, but first we're gonna go do some things, like have encounters uh, that are allegedly weak encounters, but I don't know. Any, any encounter that can give me 100 experience just for 8 magic doesn't seem very weak to me. Alright, time to fire up again. Time to fire up the old fire. Okay, okay, we can catch them at the peak of their jump. Thank you, that's very nice. Haven't used a whole lot of magic, but you know what? Any refill is appreciated at any time. There we go. Alright, so what's in this cave? What's in this cave of wonders? Is it a magic genie lamp? I don't think so. I think that's a different story. So what is all the way in this big old wide open expanse? A scorpion, okay. Big old scorpion man. Big tough scorpion that you can only kill when its eyes are open. And a bag of pee. Wow, 500. That is a lot of pee. It's a lot of pee to fit into one bag. Believe me, I should know a thing or two about fitting pee into a bag. Don't ask. So let's get out of here. There is another similar pee bag down the road. And then we'll, then we'll get to the business of the day. But I just like collecting bags of pee. I like saying bags of pee. What can I say? I'm a man of simple taste and simple pleasure. Oh, wow. Water just eats up encounters. I had no idea. Oh, hey, hey. Speaking of bags of pee, I would be remiss if I didn't collect that one from a from a lever. Okay, so so we can walk on the ocean all we want, basically. And it will, it will just basically soak up encounters. Here we go. Here's where I was wanting to get to. Got to jump to get to it, and it's right there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Could not have been more on the money, so to speak. Alright, so... Nope. Here, here the water is a dead end. So we can't... Yeah, we can kind of... We can kind of go on parts of the water right here. Okay, here we go. So we're on the road from Naburu. You go out this way. But there is one thing to get out here before we go into the palace. It should be roughly within sight of the palace. We should be able to go up at one of these points. And we'll go all the way over... And we will get ourselves something here in the water. Blah, uh, uh, blah. Oh, wow, you can get up there with that. I was about to use magic on jump, but I don't need to. And for my efforts, for all my prodigious jumping effort, I am rewarded with a heart container, which will come in very handy in palace number five, which should be about a power level, probably a, a similar power level, right? To palace four considering they're so close together in proximity okay here we go nothing 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 at all dang what a disappointing development all right let's go down into the green metal palace here what awaits us anything anything unwild anything wild or unusual not unwild there's plenty of wild things there's almost nothing unwild in these dungeons all right, little stationary piranha man. I like you the best. You're the most generous one. If I hadn't killed you, I would have made you my pet. All right. Two hits for a bubble. Man, that is a far cry from the 80s, I'll tell you what. All right, we're going to have to use fairy magic to get up here. Don't mind if I do. And... Okay, is he going to come down in the hole? He sure is. Okay. We'll just go ahead and de-fairy ourselves as soon as we possibly can there. See if we can get him to respawn. No? Ah well. He'll respawn later anyway, so I don't know why I'm going back to check. I don't know why I'm so concerned about Dr. Bubble Man. Alright, we're just going to avoid these guys with some carefully placed jumps. Oh! Actually kind of threw off his rhythm a little bit. Alright, I'm definitely not going to fight them over a disintegrating bridge. That sounds like a world historical bad idea man now that they take two hits the jumping method is highly recommended for them all right see if i can get him to swing his sword first no nope, he won't engage until he's directly in front of me with nothing in the way boy this is an easy palace so far uh although there is one thing about it oh yeah we have a key good got it when we ferried up very nice uh, there is one thing about this palace that I do know about, uh, and there is a person in a town somewhere who gives you a hint about it. Uh, okay, Mr. Mr. Fire Troll Wizard here thinks he's funny. 
These guys are a lot of experience, so I'm going to sit here and try to kill them where I can. But you can't really get them unless they appear very close to you. There's going to be a strong rumbling in the background for as long as they exist. So we need to make them unexist. Might be another one along the way here. Yeah, there we go. I thought maybe. Hey, very generous of you to pop up right next to me. There is a fake wall in this palace somewhere that somebody in the town would have told us about, and we need to be on the lookout for that fake wall, because otherwise we're going to miss a key uh, that is secreted a few rooms behind it. Whoop, whoop. Nope. All right. Nobody will be allowed to survive in here today. Not on my watch. Hey, there we go. I'll take that magic. Ha, he fooled me. The master tactician right there. Nothing? Just a dead end? Wow. Just a straight out dead end. Boy, that's that's kind of rough. Well, I guess it's I guess it's left that we're headed then. Those guys respawn without even you going off screen. Must be a little spawning hole somewhere. Full of the little varmints. Alright, let's keep on trucking then. Looks like left is the way to go in this particular palace. I eliminated all the fire trolls. They do they do have quite an ugly aspect to them. Oh, a key. Now normally you would manipulate blocks to try to make your way up there, but because we can kind of de-fairy ourselves anytime we want, I'm just gonna turn into a fairy and then when I'm up here, bop. Oh, ow, jeez. Right on top of the face. I don't appreciate that very much. All right, well, let's avoid the... Let's avoid the MOA. One hit for those guys now. Golly. That, that's a pretty awesome deal. Blue ones... So, blue iron knuckles are really the only ones we got to worry about at this point. Might as well take it. Good grief. <laughs> he walked up... Th These guys are just walking up thinking, I'm going to... I'm going to do battle today. I am going to earn valor and honor and glory, and I am going to make my way to Stovokor. And it's like, haha, <laughs> not so much, buddy. Well, that was embarrassing. That guy got more hits on me than an iron knuckle did. That slime has more honor. Wow. Both sides, and I couldn't commit to a single one. All right. I like stopping to kill these guys, though. They are definitely worth it. Not if they get too far away from me. You don't want to go chasing them. Wow, both at once. Hello, mother, hello, father. Is there another one in here? Golly! The slimes are slimes are better at fighting than the than the iron knuckles are. My word. Wow, these guys are being especially generous today. They can really if you wait on them, they can really give you a hassle sometimes. But they're not hassling me too hard today. And I appreciate that a lot. I appreciate any... Oh, God. Why? What is this room's problem? Okay. Okay, I all kinds of hate this. This is disgusting. Okay, 8,000 to attack. Holy moly. Well, then I think we're going to take... Do we want to take the magic boost when it's only 4,000 to the next one? I don't know. I don't know that I want to... I want to keep going for now. Yeah, I want the defense. Magic is so much cheaper in this game that... There we go. Woo, God, I almost used the handy glove. I wasn't thinking very hard. Man, I am getting my butt handed to me in this room. This is a... This is a nasty one. Oh my gosh, seriously? Well, at least I've gotten rid of the iron knuckles. That should that should do for that. Okay, now we're on to easier enemies. Uh, like blue iron knuckles. Okay. I think I'm just going to play defense until he gives me an opening. Okay, yeah, speaking of openings, this is the fake one. Oh my god. Well, that wasn't as big a disaster as it could have been. Nope, this is not the fake wall area. I thought it was. We were coming up on a dead end. and Okay, so that was just a complete dead end that culminated... Oh, thank you. Yes. Yes. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to gorge myself on heal spells. Oh, man. Woo, golly. Oh, nice of you to show up. Ah, welcome to the Black Parade, buddy. 
So, okay. Alright, let's get out of here with all due haste. Okay, and be sure not to use the down key at all. We de Oh my god. I'm getting taken to school by these guys. This is... See, they hit that little... They hit that little edge right there in just such a way. They are... They are rotten. Boy, that is a terrible room. What a terrible place for a dead end. To go through all that and then it's like, nah, nothing. Nothing there. <laughs> Golly. Slime Town is really annoying me here. How am I so terrible at fighting slimes? Wow. And magic bubbles too, apparently. Okay, do we want to go there yet? Well, we definitely want to jump up for that because I think that's going to put us to... If that's enough experience in there, it's going to put us up to where we need to be for the defense upgrade. There it is. Level 8 defense. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Hooray! And now, now anytime we get to a defense level up, they just validate our parking for us, which is nice. Okay, cool. I did have a key. Very nice. Alright, so you come around to me. Oh, no. You, you get out of your Chuck E. Cheese ball pit and you come to daddy. There we go. Alright, that sounded a little disturbing, definitely. Alright, so we're going to get up here and we're going to kill him. He didn't do anything except exist. That's his problem. Wow, just free magic refills that I don't need all over the place. This is... This is wonderful. Alright, so... As long as we have the jump spell, we can uh, get out of here pretty... We can get out of here pretty good. Okay, I'm trying to be... I'm trying to be Robin Hood over here. Good grief. For a red knuckle battle? That was embarrassing. Although that was cool, so... There you go. Come to me. Show me love. So next up is a magic upgrade. For 3500 which might be good to get, but I feel like... Whoa, hello. He was pretty close by there. Woo, right on top of me. Yeah, you gotta be... You gotta, you gotta stay alert in here. Alright. Ah, come on, man. Really? Why don't you come down to my level? Might be better to upthrust this guy at this point. Yeah. It's a lot better to upthrust now, actually, because, uh... When is that fire gonna stop scooting? That's... That's my question. Yes, the rumbling of the fire. It is... It is quite the thing. Why don't we clear out some, uh... Some handy glove bricks. Aw, oh, man. Only one hit. Dang. Where are you? Oh, okay. The flashes aren't showing up so well on my, uh... Cough, cough cartridge. So, uh... Let's, uh... I think I'm close enough. There we go, yeah. Thought I was close enough to maybe get him. There we go. And there's one more in here, at least, that I know of. I'm definitely going to hang around and wait for those guys. They are worth my while. At 200 experience a pop, you better believe it. Yeah, pop up all the way at the edge of the screen. That's... I definitely want to chase you over there. That, that sounds like a good use of my time. There we go. And then, yeah, we'll just upthrust you. Very good. Very nice. All right, I hope this isn't all for nothing right now. Okay, orange iron knuckle. They're super easy at this point. Red iron knuckle. Up there guarding the top floor. Getting it done. All right. What's next? Oh, hey, blue guy. Why don't we bring you out into the open, actually? Why don't you come out? Why don't you come out here? Although he'll probably just retreat back to the safety of the, uh... I'm sure if he can, he'll just retreat back to the sa Oh, I hit him. Now he's mad. He's throwing, like, sword beam after sword beam. It's just a little pattern detection game we got going here. It's a little game we have going, me and him. We have fun around here, you know? Aw, oh, crap. Well, it's not very fun when I get stabbed. There we go. Only one more stabby to freedom. And I got it. Very good. Another key. Let's just break bricks on our way out, why don't we? Brick breaking ASMR. That's where I'm going with the branding on this channel. No more video games. It's all... 
video game sound effect ASMR from here on out. Anything in here? Nope. Seen magic vials and things enough other times, you would think. But, uh, can we go up from here? Are we close to, are we close to beating this one? It'd be nice if we were. We've got one key. Wow, that was simple. Okay, so yeah, we've got that key there. Oh, 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 oh. We should be so lucky as to, for it to be orange iron knuckles all the way down. Wow. That was a truly pathetic show of swordplay. Bink, 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 bink. Sounds like a Price is Right game. No, nothing there. Oh, wow, I need a heal. Holy cow. Sounds like a good idea to me. Okay, very good. Did we get the item in this dungeon yet? I don't think we did. No, we have not gotten the flute, actually. So we are... We're actually missing something pretty substantial. So we need to go do exploring elsewhere. Uh, but first I want to kill the red iron knuckle. You know they can't resist me. <laughs> Those guys. They can never... Uh... So yeah, you can actually get to the boss before you even get the item in here. Yeah, we have missed quite a bit. And... Hmm... Where is that quite a bit going to be? I think I know where we need to go. I think I remember the lift that I didn't explore earlier. So we need to go that way. We need to go back to the left. Here we go. All right. On our way then. I don't think it's too far to that particular elevator either. In fact, I think it's just a few steps up ahead. Right here. I don't think we've been down here yet. So here we go. We got more to explore. We'll just take it one floor at a time. See what it... See what it each new day has to hold. Wow. 200 experience for one sword hit? Yes, please. All right, let's leave that there for later. Fast bubble, huh? All right, well, uh, we'll just let you do your thing then. I think we'll get out of your hair, Mr. Guy. Okay, so coming up next. What's the. Okay, a key. We do need that. All right. Pa! Ha ha ha! Woo! Fancy footwork, let me tell you. It's the wave of the future. Moving on. All right, where? Oh, oh, we got the we got the fire sound in the background. So, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! Wow, ooh, he got me good. But then I proceeded to get him kind of good. All right, yeah. You think I'm not gonna sit here and wait? You got another think coming. These guys are well worth every bit of experience they toss at you. I think there's at least one or two more in here. Wow, he didn't even get to throw a fireball, I don't think. Oh, there you are. Ha ha ha. I thought there might be three of them or so in here. Hey, I can't believe I got that hit. He was kind of far away. For me to... Excuse me? What happened there? Yeah, now I'm going to start chasing you, because now you made me mad. There we go. Wow, golly. The audacity of that guy. Speaking of audacity... Okay, yeah. Here's the wall that we want, right here. Anything in here? No, come on, I need the magic refills. I am low on magic and life. I am not doing so hot. Yeah, that was a fake wall. I just went through it like it was nothing. Just totally, totally ignored it. I go through fake walls every day. It's like it's my job. It's my job to find the fake walls around here. Now, if there are enough of these guys left in this palace, I can probably get up to 3,500 and then skip straight to an 8,000 point uh, attack boost. All right, we're going to go over here first because I think the key is off over this way. Well, let's get rid of you first. That's that's an important order of business. And then we will go ahead and... Uh, all right, one hit. I'll take one hit. I am chasing them, which is generally ill-advised. Uh, but if he just comes over to me... There we go. We got it. Okay, yeah, there's our, there's our magic boost, which we're going to ignore. So cancel that. And then when we get out of here, we will get ourselves eight attack power. With three palaces still left to go. Not bad. I'll take it. Yeah, I saw him. I saw him. But now I can kind of just ignore them. Ah, well, unless they do things like <laughs> that to me. I didn't know they could spawn in the walls. He's going to get crushed by the elevator if he's not careful. 
Is there actually anything useful over here? Wait, now that... Oh, yeah. Well, I still need to get the flu, so... Yeah, presumably I still need some keys. Why are we facing regular Stalfoses? Where is the armor on that guy? Well, there we go. Here's another key. That makes two keys. So now we're going to go backwards a little bit. Bop-bop. 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 Bop, bop. Oh, hey, I finally got two on one shot. Nice. Looks like I need to heal. My little booty is going to die if it's not careful. All right. There we go. If I can just if I can just walk past you guys, that'd be fantastic. If you could just not get in my way at all, I would really appreciate that. So now we're going downstairs to find the flute. And as soon as we find the flute, then... Oh, seriously? This... This rigmarole? These two things combined? Okay, yeah. I'm just... I'm just running through this room. Forget about fighting at this point. I don't think so. So here we go. What? Here we go. Hey, all right. Very generous. Thank you for your donation to the Link Way. All right, we don't want you getting behind the key door. We don't want you hiding like a little coward. These guys don't really... These guys don't really start... I've noticed they don't really start throwing the swords like crazy guy until... Ah, waiting until I was open the door. What a tool move. I can't believe it. I don't even have enough magic to heal. But, I have enough magic to jump. Now I have the flute so we can deal with the river monster down the way. We'll be doing that later on. Now, I'm gonna jump. Please have magic. Oh, thank God. Oh, that's very useful. Okay, so now that we have the flute, we have the dungeon item. And uh, we should have pretty easy access to the boss, so we're going to go fight Guma here now. Alright, here we are at Guma. Not to be confused with Goma, or a Goomba for that matter. So, the spells I think we're going to need, we got full life. The spells I think we're going to use here today are Jump. May not need our Jump power depending on the timing of this, but... We're also going to use Shield. Get on our Red Tunic. Alright, here he is. He's a he's a big boy. He's also exclusive to the NES version. Uh, in the in the uh, Famicom Disk System version, you just fight another uh, hammerhead. Okay, so you can avoid that pretty well with the by jumping. Okay, yeah. So obviously he can't be hit on the head. He's wearing a big old spiky helmet. Whoa! Did not. Well, I'm not trying to touch him. Jeez. Okay, but we've got. We've got a lot of attack power, but so does he. You notice the knockback on that thing. That is... Man, his his hitbox is pretty mean. Alright, let's jump over him. Let's get him back out into the open. Yeah. So, if we can judge the distance correctly with our, with our little handy-dandy butter knife here. So, yeah. Jump helps you get out of the way big time. We're going to go ahead and heal up to full. That should give us a pretty major advantage here. And pop. There we go. Didn't need the heal after all, but better safe than sorry, I say. 500 experience points from Mr. Guma. So we've got the flute. We've defeated the troll. And now we're going to get our level 8 attack, which is going to come in very handy for the nasty, nasty monsters that populate the rest of the game. Give it to me. Hook it straight into my veins. And bop. There we go. So, attack boost, level 8. We've only got level 6 magic, but we have two palaces to go. So, no matter what, we're going to be getting our magic up. And at that point, it's just smooth sailing, don't you know? Yeah, because that's what this game is all about, is smooth sailing to the very end. If there's anything that Zelda 2 is all about, it's making it easy for the player. Right? Right? Am I right? <laughs> Absolutely not.